Yo guys, it's Deezer HD here uh, with another Cinema 4D tutorial and uh, I'm really sorry for there being no uploads uh, recently. I'm doing my A-levels at the moment. I'm in my last year and I've got uh, three projects. I've got an art project, a photography project and a media studies project. Um, they all have to be in in four weeks. So what I've been doing at the moment is working really hard to get those done, which is uh, quite a pain, which means uh, I've been very busy out doing photo shoots, doing my art, making my stuff for media studies and stuff like that. Luckily I've got no exams but I have got a lot of coursework to go in so um, so that's what I've been doing. I haven't had the time to upload I'm afraid but uh, hopefully after well after my coursework's in I should have a lot more free time hopefully. Um, obviously I still have work to do but I should have a lot more free time and uh, I'll be able to upload a lot more tutorials and stuff so, um, what we're going to be creating today is something a bit like this. So, say if I was to render this out now, you can see here we've got, um, obviously this is from my light kit, but you can see we've got this really nice effect with well, the sphere, um, and we've got this really nice reflective floor with no fall off, um, with no horizon, sorry. It's got a really nice fall off um, where it just blurs into the background and you can see that's got a really nice effect like a studio look to it so that's what we're going to be creating today. Now if I close this down I've already got a basic scene set up I'm sure you know how to do it, make a sphere and you just go into the here sphere. I've got a basic material, um, I've got a background, I've got like four lights. Um, the first one's an area light which is above is about 40% maybe add a bit of area shadows on that actually um, the second one is a white one that's about 50% which is at the front because it's using it as a fill on the front so that's about 50% the one on the top right is a slightly amber tone you can see here it's a um, 25 degree on this you know you can copy you can pause it and copy those down if you really want to um, these are just normal lights, 60% that one, and this one's a pink one with 90%. So uh, that's basically all I've got so far. I've got background, just I've just clicked background and put a texture on it, which is just a colour with a gradient. You can see it's got a nice gradient here with a bit of turbulence. Now, uh, if I render it now, you're not going to have any reflective floor, it's just going to look like that. So. How do we make a nice reflective floor? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a plane from this tab here. So we've got a plane and uh, we're going to double click and make a new material. Double click that material and we can drag this straight onto the plane. Now we can uncheck colour and specular and we just want alpha at the moment. So we can go to texture and gradient. Now the gradient we want is uh, on type we want 2D circular and we can right mouse click and click invert knots and we can just uh, drag this in a bit just to make it a nice fall off, you don't want it to be like, very small in the centre you just want it to look, look quite nice so it's almost at the edges so I think that's quite a nice effect like that and uh, straight away if we were to render this now um, you are going to get that effect uh, with this nice fall off but uh, as you can see it's not actually reflective so if we add some reflection on there we're going to take this down just to about 20%, maybe add some blurriness of 10%. Click enter and uh, if we render it now we should get some really nice effects. But you can't yet because there's a reason for this and that is maybe if we just turn this uh, reflection up just a tad. But it's because the when we render it Right, so there's no reflection. If we turn on colour, you can see now, we should get a, a very nice reflection. It's a bit blurred out, so we're not actually going to be able to see it, but I know there is a reflection there, and you can see this fall off needs to be brought in a bit further. So um, on our alpha channel, I think I'm just going to bring in the fall off, just so it's, because if it's too close to the edge, you can see it, and uh, it doesn't look all that brilliant. So there is a reflection there, but it's not reflective enough. So, let's go into the reflection, let's turn that right up and see what happens then. 
there you can see we've got this we have got that really nice reflection there and we can go into color and we can change the color we can make it a nice dark color if you wanted to so it's not like a going to be white on the floor you still get this nice black floor with a really nice reflection on the floor you can see here uh, maybe we could take down some of this blurriness just to maybe just three percent get a nice sharp image then this also works with a disc I believe we can check that now um, I think I used a plane in my light kit but what we can do is just grab a disc where is it uh, there it is maybe just make this a little bit bigger like this and we can just uh, put the same material and turn off our plane so this should work just as well with a disc as well yeah it works just as well maybe even better you can see we've got a really nice effect here maybe we could crank up our lights just a little bit just to fill in this side fill in the, the front a little bit more and the top just a tad so we've got this really nice like kind of studio effect going on here um, I have got global illumination on just to let you know uh, but that that is a basic uh, studio effect just to give you a nice reflective floor that'd be quite nice with models etc um, not human models, 3D models, I mean. Um, so that's basically what I was going to teach you today. Um, if you need any more help, just let me know. I'd be happy to help with that. We can zoom in, we can you know, get lots of different effects, different colours, different backgrounds, different lighting, lots of things, different angles, different reflections. You can see we've got a much stronger reflection with a smaller sphere. Um, still very nice effect there um, it looks very nice with models like I said but the tutorials that are going to be coming out soon we can close this that's the tutorial over you basically you know the render settings and everything but um, let's quit cinema 4d I don't really want to save that so um, what I'm going to be teaching you for the next couple of weeks if I can have the time if I can get the time sorry I found this uh, program called Ableton Live and um, I am terrible, absolutely terrible at it at the moment. Um, it is a music production software, um, I've got a friend who's actually teaching me to do this uh, slowly at the moment, I'm not the quickest learner, but um, I'm basically learning how to produce music. Um, you may have seen his stuff if I go on to uh, my YouTube. And I'm quite I thought we would get a few more views than it actually did but it didn't so uh, if you could check it out I will leave the link in the description for you but um, this one here Dizzy Fraction he made this song in this software and I don't think people know how hard it is to make a song like that because honestly I've uh, I'll open up some of the little practice stuff that I've done it's all really really terrible I don't really want to show you what I've done because it's quite embarrassingly bad but you can see there's a lot of stuff this is just um, let's just open up whoops the wrong one sorry I've opened up the same one no, not this one right you can see got lots of layers each one's got waveforms that you've built reversed waveforms envelopes drum beats piano chords Got more drum. This is drum rack. Got more drums. Got some piano chords again. So it does take a lot of time. And if you, you can see, we've got effects on a lot of the channels as well. Look at all these effects that you have to change. And uh, you can see if I go into some of them, I've got loads and loads of effects on here. Um, there's one of them that should have, you can see here, there's, I've got to change all of these settings, etc. Uh, it does take a long time, and I don't think people really appreciate how much work has gone into this. Uh, Jake's, his name's Jake, um, his work here. I don't think people realise how hard it actually is. And I would love it if you could just check that video out and just rate him, uh, leave a comment. Just tell me what you think of him. Um, I know the animation's not great, but it is more of a dance, uh, electro type track. So it is quite hard to get this effect. I will mute it for you. It's just uh, 
And see here, we got this effect going on that I learned from Don. You can see what type of beat it is. So um, if you could check that out, that would be great. Um, even if it is dislikes or whatever, just say what you think of his work because he would appreciate any feedback and how he would improve or anything. If you could just tell us about that, that'd be brilliant. Because I'm trying to start producing sound at the moment. I've made a SoundCloud, so if you do have a SoundCloud, if you could follow me. I haven't put anything up there yet, but um, if you could go and check it out, you can see the name I've picked is it's like Dorbsy, but it's meant to be like Dubsy, but I thought that sounded too common, so I just kind of tweaked it a little bit. So uh, I'll leave this link in the description for my SoundCloud, and I've got a new Twitter as well. I've got two Twitters now, but uh, if you follow the, this is my uh, normal Twitter, which is Fratboy Slim. Sounds pretty gay, but I don't care. Um, and then there's another one which is Dorbsy, and I've got another YouTube account as well because I'm hoping this will really, it'll be really good, and I'll get somewhere with this because it is so fun. This is Jake here, 16 year old music producer. So um, yeah, it'd be really cool if you could go and check out my Twitter. I'll leave the link for Twitter, my new YouTube, and the SoundCloud and Jake SoundCloud all in the description. So if you could check that out. Um, that would be absolutely amazing and I'll hopefully get some more tutorials out soon because I found this new program for photography called Lightroom and I could teach you how to edit some photos in a really cool way and it's only £70 so it's really good for what it is so just check those links please guys and uh, sorry this tutorial was short and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading but I'll do as much as I can and um, I hope hopefully I'll be uploading more soon so i'll see you all soon and uh, cheers for watching guys uh, thank you very much peace